What's up guys? So I literally just got this camera 50 with a boom mic and the gorilla pod last night so I can record this video for you guys. So today, December 24th, is the official start to this year's winter holiday. But also if you're in the fitness community, you know it's the official start to winter bulking season. Euphoric time of the year where you're just gorging as many calories as you can. No. Try to get as big and strong no. as you can. It is no. beautiful. Time. Never again! Welcome to Nationals Bound, baby. I still love you, madly. Alright, don't lie to me. Don't even lie to me right now. That idea for the start of the video, kind of cute, huh? I don't know, it just came to me yesterday. I was like, for the start of this new series, we gotta have a very sentimentally beautiful intro to really captivate the audience's attention. And, you know, I think we nailed it. Also, new intro, what can I say? Haven't even made it, haven't even started editing it, haven't even thought of it. But I know if I say this in this clip right now, that by the time I get back to the editing studio, I'm gonna be like, damn, I gotta make you guys a sick intro. So I'm counting on that. Future Damien, make a sick intro. God damn, your lips are chapped. It really is the heart of the winter season here, November in Canada, and God, it's cold, not optimal right now. Okay, so I'm gonna be honest. After the road to Westerns, I was in quite a pickle. I was like, what do I do? I was like, do I start picking up the camera right now? And do we start creating some beautiful, juicy content right away? And I could lie to you and say that for the past three months, I've just been so overwhelmed with university applications, running the school and doing all this extra work that I've had no time to vlog. But that is simply not true. I've just been very, very lazy, procrastinating, and I thought, since today, we're actually doing something very special that I'm about to show you in a good couple minutes after we get onto this train. It's a perfect time to start this new series. Okay, something super awkward right now beside the fact that I'm vlogging in the middle of downtown and people are staring at me like I'm an idiot. They're not wrong. We're supposed to get to this really important appointment right now, which is the big reason why I decided to start the vlog today. I'm not gonna tell you about it quite yet. I'm just gonna let you guys watch and see what's gonna happen but I don't have my phone. I have no idea how to get the hell anywhere without my Google Maps. So we're gonna rely on the old fashioned way of uh, asking some people in the street to get to our location. <sighs> Wish me good luck. Hi. Hi. Yes, yes. All right, me and Dalton, we made it. <laughs> So, new series, start of the series, before boring you about talking for six hours about what we're going to be showing, all the great adventures and beautiful clips of cinematography we're going to have in this new series. You know, we got to do a recap for all the months that I've missed and been super lazy. In terms of lifting, it's not like I want to, you know, flex on you with the most anabolically inducing clips of gains in the world, but I'm going to have to roll that right now. Toda la noche y no nos queda mucho tiempo más. Yo quiero perder lo que queda. Seguimos siempre la pasión y confiamos solo en el amor. Yeah. No quiero perder lo que queda.
you kidding me? That is how it's wrong with God in literally the past three months. Ever since the road to Westerns ended, gains have just been kind of going off the roof. Other thing that we've been preoccupied with is this play that we're doing. Speaking of the play, this is our director right here, Mr. Wesley Boyce. And we're here starting the video. Nare's here too, his beautiful wife. Oh, thank you. And we are starting this vlog with the most interesting thing I've done in probably my life. Me and Dalton, we're getting our hair dyed. We're getting our hair dyed, buddy. All of these luscious Asian locks are gonna be absolutely dyed down to a beautiful crisp crimson brown, and Dalton's gonna lose these beautiful the long goldy locks. Gold. <laughs> they gonna be gone. Sh shredded to the bone, and we're about to have lost our hair dyeing virginity as of today. What did I tell you? Great way to start the new series. Wow. Hey, Mr. Boys, what color are you dyeing your hair? Which one? <laughs> I am alien. Yo, I seen these bitches and I seen they mamas. Don't you know the devil told you? Bitch, wet project. I'm on a new, new level. She hates a black gold relics. I'm on a new, new project. I'm out with punk in the eyes. Passing the 40 to big. Elvis sipping the ton. Michael puffing the grunt. Passing the blends of Obama. Jimmy tripping on that shit. Party at does mention. Jimmy Tech with the last of Jay Z. Boy, what's that? My woman, no black man. Carlos Santana, rocking two French braids and a black bandana, rolling straight Bruce Banner, minding all her men. She just bought 24 chains out, they don't get tangled. Went from being starstruck to being so star spangled. Graduated from a street cat to a banger. This year I'm Ooh, in the mines uh, and next I'll be in the angel. Okay. So this happened. Me and Dalton are actually gonna be enlisting in a K-pop band in the yeah, next yeah, yeah. couple of days. That's actually the whole reason the, the we double did this. The two D's, the two big D's, well one big D and then a small D. Obviously I'm the I look so Bruh. in all honesty, we did this for the play because the yep. love of acting is just so strong here. It's too real. Man. That you know, and this is just sick. Like, dude, they, they like permed it. What's going on? What's, What's going, going on? on? My man was an albino like I, 35 minutes ago. I mean, we're yeah. gonna go get some food while this excitement settles down because this is freaking Green barbecue sick. Barbecue or pumpkin pie at Earl's? What's it gonna be, guys? Oh, or guess both. you'll have to find out. Mm. God damn. So, right now, we're in a close contender for the number one restaurant in Vancouver. Uh -oh. We're in Earl's. Earl's. Almost Victoria for me. Pretty damn good. The reason we came here is the only right way to celebrate a victory for the boys like this is to come to a place with the best pumpkin pie around. Best pumpkin pie in Best Vancouver. pumpkin pie in the world. I'm so hungry. So yummy. Okay. So, we're going to be talking about what we're going to be doing for the next couple of days of the vlog. It's big news. I don't even know how we're gonna split up these next couple episodes. Maybe I'll release this one as its own. A little clickbait a little bit. Hair dye gone wrong. Post a photo of Mr. Boy's ball. We got these because in the play, we're brothers and having an Asian guy and a white guy with completely different hair colors just doesn't really sell the fact. So, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for that. For them acting credibilities. For the next, Today is Sunday. Starting on Wednesday, we start performances. And then every single day, I'm probably gonna be recording all the backstage stuff, showing you guys everything that goes on to making a production like that. From us leaving the wings, coming back on, and doing like quick changes in you the back. You see all the quick changes, all mm -hmm. the things that, all the moving parts behind the stage, backstage, what happens, all the goofy shit we're gonna do. That's true. It's gonna be a good time. See, the thing is, it's such a sad, somber, emotional play where we have to like cry on stage and get so emotional into it but it's not but then, like that backstage you know, right when we go off it's gonna be really really interesting and i really wish i started the vlog a little bit earlier last year so i could have done this for our last play we did lay miz last year y'all might be thinking but damien this is a lifting channel i don't want to see acting acting stupid i don't want acting no i want to see you lift weights okay okay shut up yo walter 
Let's go do something. I'm bored, cuz. Yeah. And I seen these visions. Hey, how my grandmama living? Ripping the page out the system. My dive away from it. Listen, vibing it straight from the beginning. Violence and pain. I ain't missing. I'm striving day after day. And I stay away from these bitches. I stay away from temptation because Whoa. that shit's in my system. I keep. Just got home after this adventure of a day. Oh, and I still can't believe it. I still, every single time I walk past a mirror or past a store with the reflection in the window, I can't believe oh, I'm, like, I got freaking brown hair, you know? <sighs> I guess I just gotta get used to being the K-pop star now. Yeah, but literally a year ago, this exact same time of the year, I was bald for the play. And now, this. I don't know if it's a love for acting or just a love for doing weird things that have prescribed this, but uh, feels pretty good. What I do wanna talk about though, and this is something I could, you know, rab on for six hours about. But I'll save you, you know, your brain cells. Is I wanted to let you guys know what has been happening for the past few months as I've been recording. I think the last time I took a video was right after the Road to Westerns, literally the day after we came back and we had that flight. But I will say this, on that day, right after we got off the flight, Something magical happened. Stepped off the plane, got home, packed, went to the gym, strapped up, headband, Team BCT. 530 pounds went off the ground to the hips, fully locked out, and an RPE of eight, but it was sumo. Yup, easy bro. Easy. Come on, let's go. So I don't know, Um, ever since that day, I've literally been training sumo. I went to the dark side, like look at me, I'm a changed man. I got, look like a freaking idiot. I sumo deadlift now, still no belt, and now I have knee sleeves. I've went to the dark side of lifting, guys. Yeah, times change. Final year of high school too. We've been doing so much work for the student gov and all of that. And, Yo, it's just been a blast. And there's so many times where I wish I just picked up the camera and started recording because there were so many, oh, so many moments. But I restricted myself, I restrained that desire because I knew that if I kept recording, there was no way in hell that I would ever produce a single video. You can record, 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 but it really comes down to that editing that fixes everything up and where I'm allowed to put all these videos for you guys. So I promised myself not to pick up the camera until I finish the entire Road to Westerns editing series. I'm not gonna lie, I still have two more videos to do on that. But today was a special day. Had to start this new series. Welcome to Nationals Bound, guys. The things that we're gonna be talking about in this new series. One, documenting our entire journey going to the National Canadian Powerlifting Championships in Winnipeg from March 3rd to 7th. And other things were just whatever life brings us. We're gonna bring the quality up. We're gonna bring the people in the vlogs up. Everything is just gonna get better and better and I cannot wait to see it when it's finished and go back to the first videos. It's almost a year, it's almost a year anniversary of when I started making this YouTube channel and still, nobody watches these damn videos. So future Damien in the editing studio, maybe don't put that much effort anymore. <laughs> but I do actually really wanna talk about training because what, it's been happening and training has been magnificent, guys. We're gonna blast through this not to take up too much time. First, the squat. So we got the knee sleeves. Well, they're juicy, they're tight, they're size small, and I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I could go even further into the dark side and fit into an extra small, just to get that little bit of, little bit of extra bounce off the bottom, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna roll this clip. Fight! Right there, that's a 465 pound squat at an RPE of eight. What? What is going on? And my body weight, mind you, has only gone up, I think realistically about seven pounds since Western. I don't know. I see big things. So that squat bench has been the biggest killer. We'll go back to this one, but let's just say it's, it's in the making. 
And deadlifts has also been slowly progressing quite a bit too. We finished off the Westerns with about a 500 pound deadlift for a top single. Just the other day, we pulled 515, no straps, sumo, chalk, calm, RPE, I'd be honest and say 7.5, 515 pounds. What is going on? It's all thanks to the fact that now me and Aldrin are working as coach and client and he's programming me very strategically for powerlifting with very smart RPEs, basically top sets every day of around eight to nine and back off to six to seven and then just a ton of smart accessories. I've stopped really focused on power building per se and I'm taking all my accessories as just a means to get stronger the main lifts. Lots of hip thrusters, lots of glute work, gotta get a big booty if you wanna squat a lot. Lots of tricep work, almost no more bicep work. We're gonna shrivel up and a heck of a lot of shoulders, boys, cause gotta keep that functional rotation. Yeah, training, phenomenal. It's been great. Huge increase on every single lift. But as you know, when the universe gives you these blessed gains, there's always has to be something that just comes and ruins your life, which happened two weeks ago. Now, I don't have a video about this, but I hope you can picture in your mind what happened. We um, stepped into the gym, hit a beautiful set of 430 pounds on the squat for five reps and an RPE of eight. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? <clears throat> but then, this guy was there and he was like, hey, can you spot me? I'm going for 475 on the squat, high bar, and we're gonna do about two reps, do a double. And my, my very nice personality was like, of course, of course, sir, I shall spot you. I shall assist you in the booty lift. I get out of the bar, me, p -Mock strength on the other side, going for that side spot. He hits the first rep. And on the second, I kind of notice him struggling and boom, throws the bar off his back hammers right into the middle of my knee joint between the quad and the knee and now I got some destroyed muscles and ligaments and I literally haven't been able to squat this below parallel for the past three weeks. Now although squats and deadlifts have been just, it hasn't even been, I haven't even been able to hit those, I think it was a blessing in disguise. You know, I went to Alder and I was crying about it. I, like, I can't train. He told me to stop being a little bitch and he said, hey, let's just start working on bench press. Your bench has been stalled since Westerns, keeping around 280. Why don't we try to get to a 295 bench? I'm like, whoa, I don't know that's possible. And he said, here, the next three weeks, we're gonna bench every single day. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Past three weeks, benching every single day. Have a great program for that. What can I say? The bench went from a 275 single at an RPE of nine to a 300 pound single the other day at an RPE of eight. Perfect. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Bench press might be my new favorite. No, absolutely not. But it's definitely coming up and I'm very, very proud of the progress that we've been making. So that's all I kind of want to rant about. I'm probably not gonna go to the gym in this video. We'll save that for the next one. I just thought we could have a nice little introduction. I thought it'd be interesting for you guys to see me come with me on this journey of this for today. And before I catch you guys in the next video, just wanted to say, Please subscribe, like and comment, all that juicy good stuff. If you wanna see how beautiful the edits, the B roll, the A roll, the lifting, the friends and the vlogs, how awesome the content is gonna get in the next couple months. Cause I'm telling you guys, not only are we gonna wrap up the quality, not only are we gonna wrap up the quantity, but we're gonna produce everything at a reasonable time for once. Hopefully that's the goal. 
I'm only taking three academic courses in school, so I got no real excuses. Well, with that said, I'm gonna call up all of my friends and show them this monstrosity. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Welcome to Nationals Bound, baby. Peace! Yeah? Bro. What? Look at this. Bro, wait. I think I saw too much already, bro. Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Bruh. Look at me. Oh, my God. Yeah? What the oh, f***? <laughs> what the f***? Hello? Oh, what the f***? Oh, my fucking God. Why did he do this? Shit! Dude, why? No. Dyed your hair for the play? Dyed my eyebrows, too. What the hell? I don't know if I can come to Bonser anymore, huh? Oh, everybody's gonna be laughing at you for sure. It's not that funny. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, so so far we've gotten reactions from every single person I know about my hair except for one, and that is my dad. Now my dad is quite Asian, and he freaked out when I got my eyebrows done last time. And he's the only one who doesn't even know that I was planning on doing this, so let's go see his reaction. Hey, Dad. Do you like my hair? What? <laughs> what do you think? What? Oh my God. You like it? <laughs> no. Hey, Dad. Say goodbye to the. Say goodbye to the video. Yo, Walter, let's go do something. I'm bored, cuz. Yeah, and I seen these visions. Hey, how my grandmama living, ripping the page out the system. I dive away from it. Listen, vibing it straight from beginnings. Violence and pain, I ain't missing. I'm striving day after day, and I stay away from these bitches. I stay away from temptation because that shit's in my system. I keep an eye on my cousin because.